Hey guys, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. It is Friday the 30th of August. It's college football. It's the end of the week. What could be better? Hey, maybe even you got the little uh, high school football firing up today. Whatever it is, it's football, baby, and I'm excited. Let's get right to it. Take a second, hit that like button, hit that thumbs up. Thanks very much, as always, for doing that for us. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and if you want to get notified every time we put up a brand new video, with one of our games, make sure you ring that bell. Uh, winnersandwiners.com is your number one spot for free previews, predictions, and picks on every single game, every a single day. And while you're there, if you want to grab yourself some premium plays, you can do that. Just simply use that code UBZZ55D35, and that'll get you 35% off of any premium product at winnersandwiners.com. So check that out. Of course, don't forget to check out our new Survivor League over there at ESPN under Winners and Winners Survivor Contest. It is free to sign up. In fact, it's even better than that. Everybody that signs up gets free uh, a $5 site credit to use as they see fit, plus compete for other great prizes. So check that out as well. All right, what else we got going on? I think that's it. Uh, we got the uh, we got that Murray State team total over. The Mizzou game has not started. We're just getting ready to fire it up here in a few minutes. So we'll uh, let you know tomorrow how that went. In the meantime, we're going to take a look at college football Friday. A lot of uh, big spreads and kind of kind of jerky games. So I've got something that I'm going to try, and I think we'll uh, perhaps have some success with that. Um, you know, people they find out you're a handicapper, and you know the, the big question is like, give me one sure bet. Give me the one bet you'd have to make, and you know uh, that's a no-win situation. Uh, but I'll tell you what, if I was down to my last, you know, 200 bucks or whatever, and I, and I had to make some money, uh, this is the kind of play that I would make. And we're going to look at a money line parlay here today uh, with with our four big favorites. Well, and actually it's four of the six big favorites. The other the two big favorites, uh, they don't have a money line posted. That's how big of a favorite they are. So we're going to take a look at, uh, uh, let's see, we're, we'll start off with uh, Michigan State. And uh, hang on a second here. As you can tell, I'm using my new my new teleprompter app. So let's put the let's do this. Let's put the parlay up first, and then we'll talk about it. So we got Michigan State, Duke, Wisconsin, and TCU fourteen parlay minus one sixty two. All right. So let's start off with FAU and Michigan State minus minus six, six ten thirteen and a half is the number. Michigan State hasn't lost to, lost to a non Power Five teams. In Central Michigan in 2009, when Antonio Brown and Brian Anderson both had big days, and the Chips scored nine points in the last 32 seconds to win that game. FAU, well, they were uh, last in time of possession last year, and they lost their top three quarterbacks in the portal. That likely isn't going to help. Uh, Duke, minus 4,000, minus 23 and a half. Duke has a new coach, a new quarterback, and a ton of new players. And Elon has never beaten an FPS team in their history. The closest was an 11-point loss to Vandy in 2022. Western Michigan, Wisconsin, Michigan minus 25 under 23 and a half. Luke Fickle brought in Tyler Van Dyke from Miami to take over an offense that's returning a bunch of starters. Offensive line should be very strong. Uh, the Western Michigan Broncos, they're a long way from that Sky Moore team that handed Kenny Pickett and Pitt one of their two losses back in 2021. And finally, the game we'll probably have to worry the most about TCU, three, minus 330, minus 9.5 at Stanford. TCU quarterback Josh Hoover was a revelation at the end of last season, throwing for at least 300 yards in five of his last six games, and including 439 against a pretty good BYU defense. They are loaded at the skill position. Cam Cook is back. Explosive running back in the wide receiver room is fantastic with Savion Williams, Dylan Wright, uh, John Paul Richardson, Jack Beck, and Eric McAllister. I think there's going to be an opportunity to put up points in bunches against this Stanford Cardinal defense, ranked 133rd in EPA per play and success rate, giving up 37.7 points per game. So that's it. Yeah, that's what we're looking at here, guys. Uh, it's it's the dreaded four-team money line parlay. Like I said, I think the only game that we're going to have to sweat even a little bit is that Stanford game. And if you looked at that Stanford team last year, they were dreadful. Have they, have they got better this year? You know, probably because it'd be really hard to get a lot worse. But 
uh, other than that, what was that comeback against, what was that Colorado where they rallied there? Other than that, it was a pretty disappointing season all the way around for the Cardinal. Um, I think this is a TCU team that just has too many horses on offense. They may not cover the nine and a half, and that's why I, I didn't want to mess with any of these spreads. But I think we put together a nice little package here. So give me the uh, give me that four team parlay, if you would, with Michigan State, Duke, Wisconsin, and TCU minus one sixty two. And at the end of those four games, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, guys, as always, thanks very much for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. Everybody have a great Friday. Let's turn it into a great weekend. We'll start off big here tonight and just roll right into Saturday. All right. Everybody take care and we'll see you again next time.